Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I will be doing your weekly reading for November 13th through November 19th. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. I have to remind you that this may not resonate with you, okay? This reading might not be for you. It's not a private reading, all right? It's a general reading. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. And I will zoom it in when I get done laying out the cards. If you want to know more about me, you can check out my welcome video. If you really want to know more and you want to even know a lot more, you can watch my Let's Talk sessions. You know, they're down there too in my YouTube channel. They happen nearly nightly. They can be really funny. <laughs> or they can be really dull. <laughs> but this is about you, okay? And there you are, Sagittarius. Right, so the basis of your reading is the Four of Pentacles. I think that somebody that's watching this is resisting a change. They have some inner conflicts. Somebody has some inner conflicts regarding um, what they want in their future. It's like, you know, you just don't know what you want. Uh, there's definitely a resistance here for somebody. For some of you, you can call it an obsession, okay? There's definitely some conflicts. There's some power struggles, okay? And the power struggles could be within your mind or they could be with another person, okay? But there definitely is. Five, five, five. So expect the unexpected this week. Something could happen that forces a life change, all right? So be prepared for that. You may have to pull out your strength, your character, your wisdom, your determination, okay? I think that you um, may be feeling mentally restless at this point in your life or whatever happens could make you feel restless. It feels like there, there could be some lies in your life. Somebody could be lying to you, trying to manipulate you in some way. The thing is, is I think that there's some impulsive behavior, whether it's you or another person, there's somebody that is acting impulsively, not thinking, okay, not thinking about their actions, not thinking about the consequences, uh, not thinking about the other person and how it will affect them, okay? So it just feels like there's definitely some power struggles here. There's some instability and some insecurity. For many of you, you're really thinking about your personal freedom, okay? And how you can free yourself from these mental dilemmas that are going on. Because I, there's, it feels like there's, some, there's a need for peace, and there's a need for balance, and there's a need to let go. And you want to do it, but you just can't. There's some kind of struggle or reason why you can't let go. All right, and it's a time to heal. I feel like many of you, if you're not doing it yet, need to heal, all right, or bring some balance back to your life. There could be some addictions for some of you that are affecting your love life, okay? With the devil card and the temperance card, there could be some addictions that are really affecting you, all right? Could be from the other person. The other person could have the addictions and they're affecting your partnership, if that's not the case, um, there could be an offer of new love or the beginning of a new relationship for some of you. Now, it won't happen for all of you because this is not a private reading. Bits and pieces may resonate and bits and pieces may not. I feel like um, you have these expectations um, of love that may be a little too high. Okay, you may be expecting more than what somebody else can give to you. 
and I think maybe you need to reconsider what your expectations are. Maybe your expectations are too low in a person too. I see, I see that somebody has to really um, decide what what they want, okay, and realize, you know, what what is acceptable. What's acceptable to you? What's acceptable to another person, okay? We definitely have partnership on the mind, okay? Somebody is thinking about love, thinking about a new partner or wanting a new partner, and certainly some of you could be getting an offer this week. But I think your insecurities, your insecurities are going are in play, you know, your insecurities. I think many of you are trying to fake something, you know, be yourself. That's what I need to say. Just be yourself. Don't try to be anything else because if you if somebody has high expectations of you that you can't be yourself, then you don't want to be there anyway. And that could be the power struggle. The power struggle could be within yourself because somebody has high expectations of you. Maybe somebody wants you to change. And that, you know, it's not about you changing. It's about somebody loving you for who you are. Somebody has high expectations that, you know, isn't meeting another one's needs. You know, so I don't know who that is. But it could be you or the other person. I do see a desire for love from, for many of you. you. Many of you have been praying. You've been praying for this, this love of a lifetime. You know, and it could show up this week, but it could just still be in your prayers, all right? Because I definitely see some struggles, and I see that many of you need some kind of freedom from something, from expectations. So it's freedom from expectations. That's what I see. I, I feel like you guys um, are being manipulated, all right? So just, just take that into consideration. I, there is a new opportunity for security and stability. There is with that Ace of Pentacles. There's a new opportunity coming in where, um, you know, for security, for manifestation, to manifest something new. So you have the ability to change this obsession or um, this resistance. It's being given to you to feel more secure with who you are. To feel more self or to feel more confidence with who you are, to to have the strength to let go of anybody else's expectations or even your your own, you know. Either way, I see that there is a need to honor yourself. Okay, once you do that, your wishes will be fulfilled. Don't change who you are for somebody else. Okay, be yourself. That's what I see. I, I, I really feel like there's some kind of lies, manipulation, and power struggles. Okay, I'm going to start shuffling the other deck. This is for Sagittarius, November 13th through November 19th. Now, the lies could be you lying to yourself, faking, pretending that everything is okay. And staying stuck in a situation that you don't want to be stuck in. Staying with a partner, perhaps, for somebody. Maybe one of you, whoever's watching this, somebody is stuck with somebody that they don't want to be stuck with. Okay? And they're dreaming of this peace and harmony and happiness, but they aren't, be, they aren't um, moving forward because they don't have the self-confidence to do it. Okay? So that's that's for somebody. I don't know who it is. All right. But it's bringing you a mentally restless energy, okay? It's time for you to take action, by the way. Don't let yourself be manipulated. You can face your fears. You can. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not worthy. The force is within you. Okay? The force is within you. I see that many of you are ready to open up because this desire for true love is so real and big. And, you're, and you just want to move to a more peaceful situation so that this true love can come in. Now, I'm not sure who this is for, but it's for somebody.
Look at that. The devil with the devil. The devil does not bring in good things. The devil lies. It's all lies. It's all fake. It's all false. Okay? It's driven by ego. The shadow self. Fear. Lies. Manipulation. Fake. You have it twice. Very, um, there is like some sexually driven desires here with this card, this card, and this card. So I feel like there's some impulsiveness. There could be some loneliness that makes somebody act impulsively. Okay. You're growing weary, and many of you are growing weary. You're so, you're growing weary of not feeling loved. And now it's starting to become an obsession that you, your true, the true love that you desire is starting to become an obsession because you're growing weary. You, you just can't do this anymore. You want something more within a relationship. You're not getting the emotional support or the, the emotional connection isn't there. The love isn't there. You want something more, but your self-confidence isn't strong enough for you to head in the direction that you need to go. You just keep... I think that many of you are escaping the truth by with addictions, escaping it. I'm just going to bury myself in this and, and wallow in my hurt by burying it in something else. And addictions come in many forms, okay? Look at that. There is, there's definitely a feeling of loss. It's like you, many of you are feeling like you, like there's no love and it's never going to come. You're growing weary. It's like, I don't know. Is this going to, is this my life? And I think that, um, you know, your loneliness may bring out some desires that, you know, um, are unreal. Okay, they're just sexual. There's sexual desires that don't lead to love. Okay, for some of you. Because of the loneliness. You do have to free yourself. This is the Eight of Swords. Now you have the Devil twice with the Eight of Swords. You must free yourself from this mental situation. You can do it. You can do it. And if you are stuck in a situation and you're feeling like a victim... You're, you're really not a victim because we all have the power to change. We do. We do. The thing is, you can't make... Somebody can't make you change, okay? If somebody is telling you that you need to change, for them, you know, you don't meet their needs. You don't meet their expectations. No. No, 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 no. The only expectations you need to meet are yours, Okay? And I see that many of you need to free yourself from a situation. And the time is now to do that. Because until you do, this is going to be a broken record. You have to use, you have to have self-confidence. You have to use your inner strength. You have to be determined. You have to be determined to free yourself from this cycle that you're in. You have to. Or you're never going to get the love. This is the Four of Cups that you desire, that you're dreaming about. Okay? Some of you have already passed this phase and you have looked, you have walked out, walked away from a situation that you didn't need to be in. And so new love is coming in for somebody. I don't know who it is. I don't think it's for the majority of this reading. <laughs> And I'm sorry to tell you that I feel like many of you are growing weary and you need to free yourself from these chains. It's like you're chained to a situation that you just don't want to be in. But you, you your self-confidence and your self-worth and your own inner power struggles are keeping you there based out of fear. Fear of the unknown.
so there's there's unnecessary drama in your life okay and you need to remove it if there's some manipulation going on you need to re remove it there's some conflicts there's some power struggles there's instability you need to remove it it's time for you to bring back your own personal freedom okay you do have the the power to do that you do have the power to let go of the old and bring in the new you have the power we have four fives now here's the fourth one we had three back here five 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 okay major life changes major life choices that stem from conflicts because there's conflicts there's conflicts here these conflicts are going to keep happening for you until you decide to make a change okay this week is about resisting okay the four of pentacles is resisting the change not wanting the change no but you do you do but you don't okay there's an obsession here all right that needs to be let go of all right so this week is about letting go of an obsession or letting go of resisting opening up it's time to open up once you do that your healing process can begin and your hopes and wishes will start to be fulfilled it doesn't happen overnight just so you know it's not going to be tomorrow once you free yourself from whatever it is you're stuck in your hopes and wishes don't be fulfilled the next day okay you have to go through a healing process you have to go through a period of renewal and rebirth you have to bring the peace of mind back before you know the love comes in that your dream come true you know comes you do you have to bring your peace of mind back now here we go the first card is chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here there's a sexual attraction here like I said earlier it's up here next to the devil this card there's a sexual attraction especially with strength that's a very sexual attraction to magnetic okay there's an, a, an attraction here that appears to be just sexual okay and it feels like you want more you want more but at this point it's just sexual okay the next card is religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. It is. And, and I really don't like this card because it's always so difficult for me to interpret. But in this one, it's not. I see that your love life is being affected by your spiritual path. You need to open up. You need to have faith. You need to trust. You need to love yourself. You need to put yourself first. That's a spiritual path. Okay? When you bring back your personal freedom, your love life will flourish. Okay? <laughs> Remember I said for some of you, a new life is... A uh, new life. Well, that's what it is, really. A new love is coming in for some of you. Not everybody, but for some of you. Because of this page of cups and this two of cups... Many of you have already done this, not everybody, okay? For some of you, there is going to be a new love coming in, all right? And it could be somebody you knew from a past life. You have known each other before. There could be a soul connection between you and another person that finally makes you feel good. Remember, the time is now. Don't think about the past. Okay? Focus on the future. This is focusing on the future. 
don't focus on your past hurts. Think about, if you think positive, the positive comes in. Okay, so I just have to remind you that um, the time is fluid. This is for November 13th through November 19th. This could have happened already. This could be happening this week. And, or it could be happening throughout the rest of November, maybe even into December. You never know. Time is fluid. And we're all on different journeys, okay? We're all at different steps in our lives. So this reading may not be for you at all, okay? It's for somebody, all right? And bits and piece of it, pieces of it are for one person, and then the other bits and pieces are for the other, okay? Because that's the way it goes with these, because it's for so many different people. I see many of you have lost your vigor. You've lost your vibrancy, and it's time to bring it back. So, Sagittarius, this is for you. Um, I wish you the best, and good luck. 